Welcome back. Guess what arrived? Yay! <laughs> We've been waiting on this for a while, guys. Um, I'm just looking around because I've got some other exciting news that really goes with this. Is I know whether you can see that one as well. Let's get it into the light. <gasps> Look what that is. It's my XJT module. That's what it says on there. XJT. Look at that. Okay. So, one module for JR type, which is, as you know, FlySky. I mean, yes, FlySky, sorry. I've got a TH9X FlySky radio. We're whacking that module straight into her. We do have to do a slight modification on the case to let these pins here that actually connect you to the radio when you plug this module in and you'll see it's extremely similar to the DSM module that you would pull out of your radio only that this step and I've got it here alright do you see uh, it's got a bigger indent in it okay and that's pretty easy to see so inside of your radio where these modules click in click alright the one for the DSM unit that's made for the Fly Sky that comes out with it is a longer plastic set of posts that hold all the pins. For this one here, the pin should be okay at the same length. The mod is that you remove the board that holds the pins down, with only a half a dozen screws that hold that on, or four screws, and you release that from the board and you cut the molded plastic post, which is one post, that holds the five pins. So that's a job that needs to be done for this. Otherwise, you can mount this in the radio. Just the right-hand click on the back won't click. The left-hand one will, and it's in there, and it powers on. And I've checked it, and I've bound it to a receiver that's turned up that I got with this. So happy days. We've now got a FR. FR Sky as opposed to, yes, Fly Sky. And there's a funny story of how I ended up with a Fly Sky radio instead of FR Sky. But I bet you everybody can figure that one out. So anyway, that came, which makes us very happy because this radio with the Smarty Parts board should last me another 12 months before I end up buying a bloody Tyrannus anyway, I suppose. But let's go the whole hog, get the old 9X. You don't even have to flash it. I was going to say get the old 9X flashed up with this board, but it's already has its chip on it with all the firmware ready to go. I will show you how this all works. I'm set up on the bench. I am going to do a quick build video or as quick as I possibly can on mounting the board in, getting the board to turn on for the first time, and going through a setup of the TH9X with the new Sky ER9X firmware. I'm pretty sure I remember that right. But we'll have links to all of this in the bottom. Um, it will be a fairly intensive, I don't know, 15, 20 minute video when we do do the vid. So I'm just posting up that I've got all the gear. We're going to put it together. Um, my lovely wife goes away working for two weeks shortly. So I'll be left all on my own, of course, with the children. Um, so I will be able to ignore the world around me. Um, at certain part times of the day and do a good build video on Steve Morehouse's um, Smarty Parts board for the TH9X. Now this particular this particular thing for him, there you go, there's your advertising Steve-O for giving me my 20% off. Alright, done. Um, this should be great. Like, I, I, 
I've been looking at this for ages. Just a quick explanation. This will do a all the mods bar the haptic haptic feedback that you have on uh, that's available for the TH9X. Now, by just installing this board without any soldering, you will have a board that has telemetry enabled. You will have a speaker. You will have a USB. Pl um, plug so that you can now flash in the future. You will have a SD card that will hold all the ships that you, your memory for planes and tanks and anything you ever want to make, I believe, for the normal man's lifetime. Um, what else does it do? Quickly look over there, Steve-O. Uh, that's it. So, with the XJT module and the Smarty Parts board, um, the Nine Extreme board, I should be able to enable everything a guy or gal would need to fly a um, aircraft or whatever is your buzz that you use with these uh, radios, um, and now feel confident that when I put my goggles on and I end up two football fields away, that I'm not going to just drop out of the sky or, worst case scenario, have a bloody flyaway. So, that's why I bought all this. It's going to enable the old TX that I've got sitting here on the bench, okay, that I've pulled apart. There's our radio that we're going to be working on, guys. All right, she's apart now. I've got to pull out the... Uh, LCD uh, backlight that I put in from Hobby King. I only put that in about a month and a half ago, unfortunately, six weeks ago. Um, and we'll go, once I've pulled that out, we'll be naked to how a board is, how a uh, transmitter is when you buy them. No mods done to it. And we will quickly, well, we won't quickly, we'll spend a good 15, 20 minutes putting this in and setting it up on the bit. Okay, and I'm hoping that everybody in the RC world that has one of these radios and was thinking, oh, wouldn't that be good? They probably even own a Tyrannus or a better radio by now, a Spectrum or something like that. And But if they haven't and they're like me and they're always on a budget with their toys that they're playing with and they're being, I'm in an R and... I think this 170 Australian dollars that it's cost me as opposed to 320 for a Tyrannus um, will allow me in the same figure as the Tyrannus to buy all the other sensors and receivers for the planes and vehicles I have. Well, I have, say so I, have, I have eight vehicles that are flying. So you go 8 by 4 for a start is at like $40, and that's going to be the cheapest sort of average, well, you know, between a, a small receiver and the large receivers, the 8s and the 4s. Um, you could average it out at $40 a go, say, and your $40 a go by 8, okay, you've got your figures, do your sums. All right, so that's 80 by 4 is $320 on its own, isn't it? Let's just do that quickly. Uh, yeah, eight fours of 32. Yeah, so, you know, there's $320 in receivers you've got to spend. So, if you could spend $170 making your radio what you need, you've got another good year. And then when you do buy the Tyrannus, because let's face it, I'll end up buying a Tyrannus. But when I do buy my Tyrannus, I will already have all my aircraft with most of their receivers in, with all the telemetry working, with everything I need in the fleet, and then you buy the radio. I just thought that might work more in a budget than buying a fantastic bloody radio, and then your telemetry and your receiving equipment for each aircraft or machine that you're controlling is now going to have to either be multiplied or moved. And who wants to move them? Come on, you want to put it in and leave it there like you do with your cameras. So, anyway, this should be great. I'm looking forward to doing it. 
I hope others out there are looking forward to watching me do it. So stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And um, I'll see you back very shortly. Okay. See you guys.